Okay, folks, welcome back to another Arma How To. Today, we're going to be looking at using TFAR Beta with the SOG Prairie Fire Creator DLC. The short range radio that is standard for the Blue 4 horses is going to be pretty similar to what you're used to with the ANPRC 152, for example. You're going to be able to set your frequency just by highlighting it and typing it in. And then you can use the set and clear. You can also just click enter. You can adjust your channels via left and right mouse button. Up top, there's eight channels that you can set. You can also use your numpad to scroll through all of the channels. Uh, of course, one, two, three, respectively uh, referencing each channel number. You can set your additional channel in the same manner once you've set the frequency and then doing so you can set your stereo settings so that you can have your primary channel and your additional channel on different ears so currently I have it so that my primary channel is set to my left ear only and my additional channel is set to the right ear only you can increase decrease volume as per and that's about it relatively simple fairly straightforward quite similar to what we are used to. For the long range radio, this is the backpack. You can also dial through up to nine channels. And then to select your frequency for each channel, you don't have a way to type it in, but left and right mouse button will scroll through the actual channels. So your whole integers so your first number is on the left hand dial and then your decimals are going to be on the right hand dial so we're going to set eight zero for our primary channel so you notice on the backpack radio it is set to main for the main channel and then we're going to go to 81 for the additional channel and then same as the long range we can set the additional to right while maintaining the main on both. Volume can be increased or decreased with the dial right here. And then this button, though it's not labeled, is going to enable your speakers or headphones. Pretty straightforward, relatively simple. Your vehicle radios is where it starts to get a little bit different. So once I'm in the seat, of course, when you activate your radio configure key it's going to allow you to choose if you have a backpack radio whether you want the backpack radio or the aircraft radio so we're going to select the aircraft radio and we're going to go to settings if it's not otherwise set as active you will continue to use the backpack radio for all your transmissions so if you want to make sure that you are using the aircraft to send and receive you're going to want to click set as active and then whatever you have configured for the aircraft is what you'll be using on your push talk keys for your long range radio. This is the actual menu and interface for the vehicle long range. As you can see, some of the stuff is very similar looking. You've got your dial for your channels, you've got your dial for your volume, and even though it's positioned a little bit different, you've still got your dial for your frequency. So we're able to set to 80 for our primary channel the exact same way using the left hand dial for the whole integer and the right hand dial for the uh, decimal if you note here the little tip has uh, ways that you can increase the increments so if you hold control you can uh, increase by five if you hold shift you can increase by 10 and if you hold control and shift you can increase by 15. so it makes it a little bit faster to scroll all the way through you can set your stereo settings for which ear the exact same way. What is different on the vehicle is that the main channel is actually labeled incorrectly and it is set to additional for the main channel. So currently on my primary channel, right? This is just my regular push to talk key for the long range radio. If I want to set up an additional channel, for long range. Let's go to 81, the additional channel. 
I then have to go and click to main. Even though I want it to be set as my additional channel, I have to set it to main. If you notice here in the bottom right, it says additional long range channel three. Whereas when it's on additional, it doesn't display the additional channel. Once I have that set, then I can set my stereo and then I can go back to my main channel. So let's set, we'll keep main channel on a zero, eight zero rather, and we'll set the additional to eight two. So using my primary push to talk for long range, you can see it's transmitting now on eight zero. Using my additional, you can see it's now transmitting on eight two and coming through on my right ear. If I set my backpack as the active radio, you can see it has 8-0 as we previously programmed, and it has 8-1 for the additional as we previously programmed on the backpack. In this configuration, I will be able to listen to 8-0 and 8-1 as I have them set up on the backpack long range radio, but I will also be hearing 8-2 because it has been set up on the vehicles long range radio the only difference there is i won't be able to transmit on 82 until i reselect the aircraft radio and i set that to active then i'll be able to use my additional long range radio transmit to transmit on 82 no longer being able to transmit on 81